Y'all, this story is unbelievable, yet totally possible in today's climate and the way society has been going the last couple, three years. A Brooklyn landlord, who is an army veteran of several deployments, was just hit with gun charges yesterday in the fatal shooting of his tenant, a career criminal who broke into his apartment armed with a taser over this weekend. Why is the landlord who has no criminal history being charged? Because he had the audacity to own a gun, like the Constitution says, without jumping through New York City's unconstitutional hoops for gun control. Pay attention. Now, LaShawn Craig opened fire after finding Timothy Jones inside of his apartment wearing a mask and gloves and carrying a taser this happened about 9.40 p.m. on Friday night. Now, Craig is a 45-year-old train operator for the Metropolitan Transit Authority, and he told Jones to get out of his apartment, and when he saw him reaching into his pockets, he then opened fire on the person breaking into his apartment, like most of us would, right? We perceive a threat, he's reaching for a possible weapon, maybe I would have waited till I did it, but everybody is different. Uh, he called 911 immediately after the shooting and surrendered his firearm, a Smith & Wesson 40 cal, to the police. Now, sources say that Craig and Jones, and Jones is a 64-year-old career criminal, uh, they had been arguing about family photos before the spat took a violent turn. Now, it's not clear in anything that I've read so far in this case if they were, if they were related to each other. If they were, this then would be classified as a domestic violence incident which would have all of the anti-gunners happy because that's a big push right now is to increase the fear of uh, domestic violence uh, so they can take more guns from people. Now, Jones was struck in the torso and succumbed to his injuries. Craig, who has no prior criminal history, was arrested Sunday and arraigned yesterday in the Brooklyn Criminal Court. He was charged with two counts of criminal possession of a weapon, one of a, was a felony, the other a misdemeanor. He was also charged with criminal possession of a firearm. Now, the shooting is being investigated currently as a justifiable homicide due to self-defense. And I want that to stick into your mind. It's being investigated as a justifiable homicide due to self-defense. More on that in a minute. Jones, who had more than 20 prior arrests, mostly for drugs and domestic violence, was also seriously hurt in a shooting inside of his apartment on the second floor of the exact same building back in June of 2022. Now, this incident goes to show you that even if you are defending yourself, defending your life, your loved ones, your, your mom, your dad, your, your child, your wife, you may still be charged and arrested. In fact, it's more likely than not you will be arrested, maybe even more so in anti-gun states like, you know, California, New York, Massachusetts, all the crazy gun control states, right? That's why I believe it is an imperative that we have a plan, like being a USCCA member. It's a good strategy. Use who you want, use who you think is best for you, but the thing that I'm trying to get across to you is there will be a large uh, sum of money due to, to get out of uh, jail on bail and to secure a, uh, an attorney and stuff like that, and you know, USCCA does that for you. Again, if you have questions about their coverage, call them down below, uscca.com slash gng. Now, your first call should be to 911 and then your attorney, maybe even vice versa. And if you're a member of USCCA, they're the call you should make. Guys and gals, let me know what you think down below. I brought this to your attention, uh, not because it's, it's, it's not a bill, you know, it's, it's not a, a lawsuit trying to secure or, or further our rights. This is something that absolutely could happen if you choose to carry a gun for self-defense. You may one day have to defend yourself there will be an onslaught of legal activity. And knowing what you can do, what you should do is imperative. That's why I'm a member of the USCCA, just like my, the rest of my family here. Guys and girls, let me know what you think down below. This is a real scenario that happened over the weekend that could happen to any of us at any given time. I wanna hear your comments on it and I uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Please subscribe to this channel down below if you wanna remain in the loop about the Second Amendment 
news and activity, lawsuits, legislation, and everything else. I appreciate you all more than you know. Till we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. That's the whole idea, guys and gals. Stopping tyranny, stopping violent criminals, making sure that your precious life goes on and nobody else takes that from you. Take care.